Hi everybody, it's Faith from Fireside Tarot. Hope everyone was well. Alright, we are still knocking them out for January and trying to get this done by the end of the weekend or Monday or, you know. Just, you know, within a timely fashion because it's already well overdue. So, let's just hop right to it. Leo, we're throwing down your cards for January. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, if it resonates with you, cool. It's your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given by the cards if you choose to do anything at all. It's your journey, not mine. I'm just reading cards. If it doesn't resonate, that's okay too. You can check your Moon, Rising, or Venus sign readings if you think you might want something that may resonate a little bit better. Keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid and all things can and maybe vice versa might play out from the perspective of a crosswatcher. And our dear friends, the crosswatchers are always welcome here at the first sign tarot table. And one last reminder before I throw down your cards, Leo. If it's absolutely not your message, not your story, not your reading, leave the cards on the table and walk away. And don't take with you what does not belong to you. All right. Leo, why are you here? Seven of Pentacles reversed. Perhaps you are growing rather impatient about something or wondering whether or not something is going to come to fruition in a situation. How do you feel about the person you're dealing with? The Queen of Cups. Okay. <sighs> you feel a great deal of emotion for this person, possibly. Could be a water sign or an earth sign that you're dealing with. What do you think of them? Five of Swords. Hmm. Okay. That's into tough negotiation. I'll just throw a clarifier on that. That's pretty it's pretty sketchy right there. All I'm hearing is everything is in negotiation. I don't know why. What do you want from them? Hairfin reversed. Oh wow. Maybe that's why you're wondering if things are going to come to fruition, because... I'm going to have to throw a clarifier on that, because that doesn't make sense. Hmm, Leo, what have you gotten yourself into? How do they feel about you? Three of Wands reverse, no longer waiting. Maybe they feel like you're no longer waiting. What do they think of you? Nine of Cups. We see you as a very happy person. Your cups are always full. Hmm. What do they want from you? King of Swords reversed. <laughs> okay. Don't be so guarded. Put a little more emotion into it. I can't imagine a Leo not putting emotion into something. They're probably the more emotional of the fire signs. Huh. Obstacle. The world in reverse. Unfinished business. A cycle that's not closed out. Might have something to do with this hair fit reverse down here. It all becomes clear once you lay out the rest of the cards, you know? Possible resolution, Ace of Wands reversed. Not getting something started. Not having a new start. <sighs> Leo, are you going to be another one of those readings that doesn't make sense? You know, it'll make sense. It'll, it'll make sense at the last card. Universe, Source, and Spirit. Can I get some clarity in the cards on the table for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for January 2021? It still doesn't sound right. Halfway through the month, it still doesn't sound right.
Ten of Cups reversed pops out. Something's not coming to fruition. Not happy about something. Possibly catching the vibe you might not get your happy ending with this one. Why is the Queen of Cups here? Why the Queen of Cups? Three of Wands upright. There's a great deal of emotion for this person. Possibly it's taken quite a while for that ship to come in, maybe? Hmm. Okay, okay. Why is the Five of Swords here? High Priestess reversed. Victory at a cost. Negotiations. High Priestess and Nervous can talk about egos. One more. Oh, hi. Strength. Possibly their ego might be getting in the way, maybe holding them back. Maybe they're held back by their ego. Why would they be held back by their ego? Hmm. Throw another one on it. Why strength? Thanks. Justice. Oh, well. That explains it. Okay. That totally explains it. Justice pops up when there's been an injustice, when things haven't been fair. Possibly someone's ego has been a little bit wounded, maybe, in the past. Might be what's holding them back now. Maybe that's why it's taking so long. Why is the Hierophant reversed here for what Leo wants of for from the other person involved? Why the Hierophant reversed? They act like they want to talk. Why the Hierophant reversed? Thanks. Two of Swords reversed. Painful decision here. reverse Leo why are these cards reversed oh okay Possibly you would like them to make the painful decision to disconnect from something. Why the Emperor reversed? Nine of Wands upright. One last shot, one last go around. <sighs> Disconnect from that thing that wounded you. Disconnect from that thing that makes you so vulnerable. Disconnect from that thing that's holding you back. Allow justice to come in. Don't keep me waiting. Okay, all right. Why is the three of wands reversed here for the person feels about Leo? King of Swords upright. Mm. 
impatient, getting ready to walk away from the dock, very guarded, making logical, non-emotional choices. One more. Honest. Possibly a little bit judgmental. Eight of Pentacles, hard worker. Definitely putting the time in. Possibly they... F One more. Why the Eight of Pentacles? They want reversed. Possibly they feel like they're putting all of the energy into it and not getting anything in return, maybe. Because it's not getting going. It's not starting. Okay, why is the Nine of Cups here? World reversed. There it is again. Just kind of flew out. I mean, just kind of there. Okay. I'm going to run with that. Why the world reversed? Mixed communication, on and off communication. I hate it when it stops sideways. I'm going to say mixed communication. There's, Leo, they, there's something you're not saying. It's almost like a secretive energy. Possibly you're the one having a hard time letting something go, Leo. Hmm. Why the King of Swords reversed or what the other person wants from Leo? The star. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Possibly someone's doing a little bit of healing. Possibly has something to do with that Ten of Cups reversed up there. Someone may just need some time to heal. One more. Hairfin upright. Wow. Well, in a weird way, you're mirroring each other. You want them to hurry up and heal. They want time to heal. All right. Why is the world reverse the obstacle? Four of Swords. Laying something to rest. Ending a cycle that wouldn't end. Sometimes the only one with the power to end a cycle is you. Or the person you're dealing with. You can't rely on other people to come in and do that for you. You gotta lay something to rest yourself. Makes you crazy if you don't. You just keep repeating the same cycle over and over and over and over and over again. One more. Five wands. Possibly there was some spats or confrontation in regards to this cycle not ending for someone. Okay, well. I'll leave that alone. I'm not going to beat that dead horse anymore. Why is the Ace of Wands reverse the possible resolution? Ace of Pentacles upright. You know what that's telling me? You know what that's telling me? Slow down. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. 
because the seeds of abundance grow slowly. It's not a race, Leo. It's not a race. Slow down. It's fine. Take your time. Take your time. They may need some time. Maybe you're the one who needs some time. Take your time. King of Pentacles reversed. That's like slow it down in a big way. All right, what's the outcome here? Oh, judgment upright. That's pretty cool. That's ending a cycle. Laying something to rest, finally. Letting something die so something new can be reborn. I mean, that's not terrible, right? I'm not even going to clarify that. I'm just going to leave it alone. I'm leaving it alone. I'm leaving it alone. Leaving it alone. Get some quick advice. Oh man, the full reversed. Queen of Pentacles reversed. Don't jump. Don't jump into what could potentially be a codependent situation. I mean, it has a little bit to do with it. The, the advice doesn't always have anything to do with the reading at times. It's just something that the universe thinks you need to know. So we're running with it. King of Pentacles upright, Eight of Swords. Don't be... I'm hearing don't wrap yourself up being wrap yourself up in trying to be someone you're not. But Leo, I think you are the catch, so that doesn't quite make sense to me. I really do. You know you're the catch. You're irresistible. <gasps> and I'm gonna leave this alone to temperance reversed karma upright. Patience, patience, patience. Lack of patience in this situation is going to lead to negative energy flow. Like if ener negative energy flow leads to bad stuff. You need to exercise patience. So whatever is going to be will be. And if it's not meant to be, it was not meant to be. Don't question the universe. Be patient with it, Leo. It's not a race. All right, guys, this has been your January reading. Let me know if it resonates. Okay? Be good to yourself. Much love. Be blessed. I will catch you guys either Sunday night or Monday for the work week top and bottom of the deck. And hopefully on Tuesday I'm going to be starting the February reads. So, yeah. We're working through it. We're making it happen. Love you. Miss you. Catch you later.